Melissa here with you today and next week we're going to be sewing up this leather project. So before we get to that, I wanted to do a video today on tips for sewing with leather. The very first tip here is going to be to give up on perfection if you are using a home sewing machine and you want to sew with leather. You can do a pretty good job. Some machines can do an excellent job, but it's almost never going to be perfect unless you have an industrial machine meant to stitch through leather. Home machines just are not built to handle, especially thick leather. You can do it. You can do it pretty good. You can't do it perfectly. So if you are a perfectionist with sewing, you might wanna look into hand sewing your leather instead of using a machine. Now, let's assume you want to go ahead and Continue using your home sewing machine for leather. Here are all my tips to get the best results from that. First of all, you're gonna want leather needles. They have another hook on them to help punch through the leather and pull the thread back through. So they're designed a little differently. Also, you'll notice these are size 100 needles. Um, they they're bigger size needles to deal with that thicker material. You're also going to want to use heavier thread. You can get leather thread on spools, you can try that. Generally what I do is I just use heavy duty all purpose thread. Wonder clips are invaluable for stitching leather because once you stitch a hole, that hole is gonna stay in the leather. So you don't wanna pin leather, you want to use clips and um, clip things together so that you don't end up with holes. You're gonna want a different presser foot on your machine than your normal one, most likely. I like to use this rolling presser foot, um, but I miss the fact that it doesn't self-level like my J foot. Some people prefer a walking foot. Other people also suggest using a Teflon foot. That can work well too. The bottom line on it is you're gonna wanna experiment with your actual leather that you're planning to use and your actual machine. On all, a stiletto, or in this case, what I have here is a point turner, is gonna be handy because especially with leather, you really tend to wanna get your fingers like all up in there and you don't wanna stitch through your finger, which I have done and it hurts and it's not fun and I don't wanna do it again. So using something like this point turner to really like get under as close as possible to the needle and help hold the leather where you want it to be stitched, it's gonna help you feed more smoothly and it's also going to protect you from stitching through your fingers. Finally, when you're cutting leather, I really strongly suggest using a mat and a rotary cutter and even a ruler to get really straight lines. You're just gonna get nicer cuts, nice, edges when you're cutting through leather and you're using the rotary cutter. And keep those little scraps around. You can see right here, I layered three scraps of leather and then I was stitching to see how my thread that I had chosen looked and to make sure that my machine was going to be able to handle all three layers. All right, I've got a couple of pieces of leather here. We're gonna take these to the machine and show you a couple of tips actually at the machine. First of all, if your machine has a presser foot pressure adjustment, Put that on the highest setting that it will go to, the most pressure that it will provide. Next, make sure that you've switched your machine to the longest stitch length that it will do. In my machine's case, that's a basting stitch. It's a separate stitch than the regular stitch length adjustment, so I'm going to set it for that. Okay, it's a very good idea to start any seam off by hand cranking your machine. This allows you to check and make sure that the leather is actually going to feed through. And if it isn't feeding through, it allows you to pick up the presser foot and manually feed until you get your presser foot flat and entirely on the leather. At which point then you can start trying to machine sew. I recommend going slowly. Here is my stitching. You can see that switching that to a longer stitch length definitely helped to get through this seam faster with less holes poked in the fabric. And it is still a pretty strong seam, like it's not ripping apart and I'm putting a lot of tension on this. So there we go. Those are my best tips for sewing leather. Use leather needles, use heavy duty thread, have a 
point turner, a stiletto, an awl, even your seam ripper will work in a pinch to push the leather under if you need to so you don't end up sewing through your finger. Use clips, use rotary cutter and mat and a ruler to get nice straight edges. Increase your presser foot pressure and increase your stitch length to the longest length that you can do. All of those things should help you sew leather pretty well on a home sewing machine.